had a lovely flight down to Amersham and Chesham today, but uh, had a few problems uh, getting off the ground. So I got down to the field about 20 past 7 a.m. Um, but didn't take off for about an hour later. So it's the 12th of February, just arrived at the field. It's 20 past seven in the morning. The sun's not risen just yet. And plan today is to go down to Amersham. So quite a long flight. I want to go around the uh, west side of the Luton airspace and fly south. We've got a westerly wind at the moment, I think. I haven't got the sock up yet, I'm just going to do that now. We've got a westerly wind, um, which is going to swing south. So hopefully that will give me a tailwind on the way back. See you up there. So I spent 20 minutes getting set up. Wing is over there. Uh, the wind was a westerly to start with. Now it seems to have dropped. So it was probably two, three miles an hour. It's probably now dropped down to one. Haven't flown for 10 days or so. So wish me luck. What is that sock doing? Wind's done a 180. So I laid my wing out and then went back to my van to get on my motor sorted out. Looked over and saw that the wind had shifted 180 degrees. So decided to get relayed out again facing east this time and then go back and get the motor and go for launch. It's going from the west, then from the east. Now it wants to come from the north. So on top of all my wind issues, I struggled to get the motor started. So I had my power drill with me, so I thought I might as well just quickly take the prop off, warm the engine up, and then put it back on my back again. Um, of course, and by which time, when I'd got back over to the sock, the wind had changed direction yet again. Even though I'm having a flight before work, I, I decided not to rush. And it's never a good thing to rush in paramotoring. So even though I've laid my wing out three times with you know 40 odd kilos of um, paramotor on my back, I'm still not rushing and then couldn't start my engine. Um, but finally, after 55 minutes, I managed to get launched. So it's about quarter past eight now and up in the air. At this point in the flight, I'm about to hug the west side of the Luton airspace. If you look at the map at the beginning of the video, rewind and pause it if you want. Um, so at this point, all the way down here, I'm just hugging the west side past Tring and then down to Chesham and Amersham. And this here is the De Vere Latimer Estate, which is a hotel now, I believe. I recommend you Google it. It's got some quite interesting history. Uh, was used by intelligence in the Second World War. So I'm now flying over a tube station, something I've never done before. So this is the Metropolitan Line, which um, terminates at Chesham. And this is the Chalfont and Latimo tube station. So it's pretty cool. And this here is the end of the tube line at Chesham. I um, haven't been to Chesham before actually, but it looks, uh, looks like a really nice place. Nice church there and some green fields around. So I'm kind of slowly heading back. I'm going to go around the west side of an airfield, um, but on the way I see this monument. I didn't know anything about it, so I decided to fly over it. It's called Coombe Hill Monument. And one of my paramotor buddies said to me, you're actually only about 200 metres away from Chequers which is the Prime Minister's uh, residence, or country residence. So next time I'm over this way, I think I'll uh, fly over the uh, Prime Minister's house. So this is Aylesbury here, and the famous Stoke Mandeville Children's Hospital. And on my way back to the airfield. Stately home below is Ascot, which is a half timbered house originating from 1606.
almost back at the field now. I'm just going to fly over the Woburn Estate and Woburn Centre Parks. And I almost fall over on landing. Um, it's a bit of a fast landing. I expected a tailwind on the back, which didn't really happen. The winds just kind of died down to nil, so it was a nil wind landing. Um, but almost landed on my face. Why my fuel economy is so good. I was up for nearly two and a half hours and used like just under 10 litres, so it's pretty good. So if you enjoyed that, give me a thumbs up and thanks for watching. And there's a link to some photos in the description if you want to see the high-res versions and have a look at those.